mats. Are we ready? So on this mat, today we're going to do some things that involve our storied seeding stash. Awesome. So what we're going to do is, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some sentences from our story and I've cut them all up. I've mixed them up. I need your help putting them back together. So let's look at the first one. So here's my sentence, and I am going to need some help putting this sentence back in order. So the words are chili, gust, of, is, each, when. Knox, can you help me with this one? Which word should go first? Okay, which one? Okay, can you put it out in front? Put it right here. And why did you choose that word? Well, the only reason it is because it looks like it's like kind of like a puzzle and this will oh, go to this side. You're right, but I'm looking at the sentence and I see that this is a capital it, letter, I right? I think it yeah. like got in the order that it was cut. Yeah, oh, okay. So, all right, are you ready? I'm ready for you to choose our next word. Each what? Each gust. Each gust. Good job. Okay, what comes? Oh, it's okay. You don't have to put it back together really good like that. That's okay. Each gust. What's that word? Of. Oh, very good. All right, your turn. Each gust of. And what's that word? Wind. Very good. Each gust of wind. And what's that word? Is. is and what's your last word? Chili. Wait, I figured that out because there's a period. Oh, I like how he even said there is a period, so he knew that was the last word. Let's read this sentence together. Each you gust of wind is chilly. chilly. Perfect. Okay, so we've got one more not sentence, the, and here's what I'm gonna chilly. have. Right. Remember, it's like That's right. city, and like we cut out letters. Okay. Awesome. Here's what you're gonna do. You and your partner are gonna work together to see if you can put the sentence back in order. All right, so if you'll scoot this way just a little bit and you're gonna work with Knox and you guys are gonna work together. All right, so go ahead and see if you can, sure, uh, you have to pull, pull, pull them uh, up. We can get the Okay, so make sure everybody, make sure Knox is working too, okay? Mm, what might go first? The Hawks could, the Hawks. Skin. Okay, well, do we see skin in here? Skim. Okay, but do we see skim? Okay, so. The hawks. So the hawks want. Okay. Oh, no. Because that's yes. there's a period. That's right, so we've got to put that at the end because Knox said there's there. a period at the end. Four. I, like I it. look at I think it's out. Oh, snap. Two. There's two out. I, I look, look out. Oh, is that out? There you go. Okay, good. All right. Can you all read the sentence to me? Out to see their claws. Out to see their claws. Out to see their claws. That is perfect. Excellent. Okay. Oh. I look out my nest. To see. You see, snow fall. Ooh, so we've got one word left. Uh, Where might that go? I want to figure it out. I look out. From out. Oh, wait. From out. From out. From out. I know it looks. I look out from, from my nest to, to, to see, see snow fall. Good job, okay, Knox. They all ate your All right, they, they did. Can you all read your sentence to me? I look out, out from my nest, my nest to, to see snow fall. That is How did they do it so quick? They did it just as quick as you did, and that's fine. It works. All right, so those were some sentences from our story that we're going to read today. Mm -hmm. Now, before we start that, the first thing that I want to do is go over some of your trick words. You all know these, so we're going to review them super quickly. These are words from first grade, and they're also words from your foundations. Are you ready? Yeah. I want you to read them to me. Go. Full. 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 Both. Oh, hold on. Knox, are you ready? Okay, both. Both. Full. Full. Does. Your. Do. Shall. Walk. They. You. Hear. Hear. From. Said. Talk. One. Excellent. Will they, will 
Did that work quicker than the last group? That was, well, no, they, every okay. group did it really fast, but that was very quickly. All right, so now, here are some of your vocabulary words that you are going to have in our story today. The word is hide. What is going, what do you think, based on this cover, do you think hide means? Um, it's going to happen with the word hide. I think that he's gonna hide from the hawks. Ooh, he could totally hide from the hawks. I like that. So you're telling me he's got to go to a place that's like, safe. Like one of his homes. Okay, I like it. All right, what do you think, Knox? Uh, I think that he gets to hide his seeds underground and go hide in his bed. All right, I was so say that too. listen, so you all just said they're gonna hide from the hawks and they're going to hide the seeds so here's the deal hide means to keep something safe whether it's yourself the squirrel or the seeds all right so we've got pine cones and cones tell me a little bit about pine cones so pine cones are like where um pines come and then I they, need in the yes, place. Like they you. do so here's the deal these pine cones are oh, what the um, squirrel is going to use in the um, food. It's going to get their food from the pine cones, right? That's exactly right. All right, works. Tell me about works. Like the works to um, hide. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly right. So he's doing a lot of things to help get ready to make it through winter, right? So the more he works now, the less he has to work in winter, right? Uh -huh. Um, It's like when he said, oh no, my sis is here. My bluff works. Yes, that's exactly right. I love it. All right. So tell me a little bit about seeds. Tell me about seeds. Like, can I have one of those books for a second? Okay, you just tell me about it. And yes, like, and we'll get like, it. Like, almost at the end, like, he, he's, like, he gets his seeds. Right, so where did the seeds come from? Um, from the pine cone. That's exactly right. The seeds came out of the pine cone, so that's what he's storing like he for winter. Like, his seeds to crack open You're the right. Cone. All right, so tell me about the hogs. Hogs. Two hawks getting three dollars. I know, they are getting crazy, right? All right, so here's what you're gonna do. What I would like for you to do is read pages one through seven. Does that mean you're gonna go to page eight? No. no. Does that mean you're gonna read all the way to the end? No. Does that mean you're gonna go to page 10? No. No, you're gonna stop at page seven. Shh. You're gonna read, oh, we're gonna read quietly to ourselves, and then when I lean in, and then I've got some questions to ask you, all right? Here we go. I need you to go ahead and open it up to page one, read all the way to page seven, and I'm gonna listen to some of you as you read. If you get to page seven and you're finished, go back to the beginning, okay? Okay, so the sun is on, I am quick. I dash up a tree. I don't sleep from branch to branch, zigzag with a cut pine cone, plop, 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 they drop. The snack is very hot. The stack is very hot. Stack what? That's the stack of this. That's exactly right. I 
jump the bridge to bring it. Zigzag with a cut pine cone. Drop off on the gray drop. That is very hard. What's this thing? It's like it's a, a pile that's really good. Oh, yeah. And it's pine yes, that's right. Okay, so an onomatopoeia is a word that sounds like it sounds. So if I say boom, that's an onomatopoeia because it sounds like a boom. If I said crack, it sounds like something cracking, right? All right. So can you find an onomatopoeia on page one? Can you find an onomatopoeia on page one? What'd you find? Zigzag and pop. Okay, so plop. Here's in my mind. I know that on this page, the Knox, the pine cones are falling. So when it falls, I can hear it. Plop, plop. Does plop make the sound of plop? Yeah, plop. Yes. That's exactly right. Zigzag whiz. Whiz is something that goes really fast. So I can imagine whiz is also a an onomatopoeia. Great job. Yes, that's right. Now go ahead and turn to page two. Knox, why is the squirrel working so hard? Because he doesn't want um, anything to get his seeds. Okay, he doesn't want anything to get his seeds. Would you like to add to it? Yeah, like there's a monomatopoeia drop right Okay, but that's not an onomatopoeia oh, right here. I just want to know why is he working oh, so hard. because he so, like, his sister doesn't steal his, um, Well, seeds. maybe. I think if you look, you can find words that help you to answer that question. Um, what are the words? There's, a, there's not one bug or berry. There is not one bug or berry to munch in winter. So he has to do all of his work now. He's got to work hard right now in order to make sure that he has food and he can survive the winter. Great job. All right, so what will the squirrel do to prevent things from getting into her stash? He, in his stash, thank you. What's the squirrel gonna do? do his work that um remember like where is that thing you, you tell me it's on page oh right here he's so think about what he did he was making nests. right and a second ago we talked about why do you think he needs that many nests because he switches one to whatever uh animals finds him that's right so he may do that to protect himself but also if he has all of his stash in one spot, do you think that's safe? No. No, no because like, what if somebody comes and gets it? He, can't he has none, one. right? So he has these stashes in different places near these nests, right? Yeah. So it's really important that he has multiple stashes so he can prevent that's someone from coming and getting that's it. That's why I said like this, this it would probably snow in his nest. Oh, great job. Hey, you all did an amazing job. And so when you finish the rest of the story, you're going to figure out what the obstacles are that the squirrel has, all right? So you all did great. Thank you for reading with me today. I'm very proud of you. You did wonderful.